Let's explore the transport of substances in plants. What is the necessity of transport in plants? To transport water and minerals? Water is needed as an important component of cells. Mineral ions are needed for chlorophyll synthesis, growth and development. Plants have less elaborate and slower transport system than animals. Let's understand the vascular tissue. Xylem and phloem form vascular tissue. Xylem gives support and transport water and mineral ions from root to upper parts of plants. Movement of substances against gravitational force. Phloem. Transport organic food substances synthesized by leaves during photosynthesis. Structure of xylem. In flowering plants, xylem mainly consists of vessels, tracheids and parenchyma. Xylem vessels are long, hollow, continuous tubes. The cell wall is strengthened by lignin. They provide mechanical support. Vessel consists of dead cells. There is no protoplasm in the vessels. Conifers and ferns do not have xylem vessels but have tracheids. Tracheids are less efficient in conducting water and do not have open ends. Water passes from cell to cell through openings called pits. Let's understand the structure of phloem. Phloem transports organic food substances, sucrose and amino acids from leaves to other parts of the plants. Phloem tissue consists mainly of sieve tubes and companion cells. Sieve tubes. They are cylindrical tubes consisting of living sieve tube cells. The cross walls separating the sieve cells are perforated by small pores. These walls are called sieve plates. No nucleus exists in mature sieve tubes. Companion cells are found only in flowering plants. Adjacent to sieve tubes, they have a nucleus, dense cytoplasm and many mitochondria. They help transport of manufactured food from leaf cells to the sieve tubes. Let's explore the transport of substances in plant. Translocation is two-directional transport of soluble organic food materials. Transpiration is loss of water in the form of water vapor from the plants to the atmosphere. Transpiration creates a transpirational pull. Water gives turgidity to the leaves, cells and stems. Pathway of water from soils to the leaves. Let's observe the following. Let's explore the factors affecting rate of transpiration. Air movement. Rate of transpiration increases in windy conditions. Temperature. Rate of transpiration increases with temperature. Increase in temperature increases the kinetic energy of water molecules and thus water moves faster through the stomata. Light intensity. Higher light intensity stimulates opening of stomata. Sunlight provides heat energy and increases the rate of evaporation. Relative humidity. High relative humidity leads to low transpiration rate and low relative humidity leads to high transpiration rate. 